Hey everyone, Technomage here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix your iPhone Bluetooth not working after the iOS 18 update. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do on your iPhone is put your phone on airplane mode by putting down the control center. And then you can click on airplane mode and then turn it back off. And that does a quick refresh of the network. So if it's a network related issue causing that Bluetooth not to work, it'll go ahead and fix it. You can also do it from the settings itself directly here. You can put it in airplane mode and then turn it off and on again. The next thing you want to turn on and off is your Bluetooth itself. Sometimes the simple fix is just turning off the Bluetooth because you updated to the latest version, right? And then you want to turn back on. And then from there on, you're going to go ahead and reconnect to your device. Now, if a device is listed, you want to click and forget that device on it and then reconnect to it as well as a troubleshooting step, which I'll show you with this phone here that I have a something connected like an Apple Watch, I can click on this and then click on it to forget there should be an option available. Here I don't have it since I'm not connected right now, but that's something else you want to do. Now after you have done that and still not trying to connect or not working, you want to follow this step, which is quickly press and release the volume up, quickly press and release the volume down, and then hold on to the side button just like that until the screen goes completely black and the Apple logo reappears. So as you can see here, after I quickly press and release the volume up, followed by volume down, I'm holding onto the side button until the screen goes black and the Apple logo appear. At that time, I will let go of that side button, doing a force restart, which basically shuts down the phone software and then reloads the code. So if it's a software related issue, it's gonna go ahead and fix that for you. This method will not delete any of your personal data. You can do it as many times as you need to. And sometimes you might have to if you don't get it the first time. Just keep on trying the method, quickly pressing release the volume up, volume down, and then holding on to the side button. And then the next step you want to do if you're still having issues with the Bluetooth is go into your settings, go to general, scroll all the way down, which is transfer reset iPhone, click on reset, and you're going to want to do a network reset of the settings themselves. What a network reset does is basically deletes any Bluetooth connected devices so you can reconnect them again and also any Wi-Fi connections as well so you'll have to reconnect to those and it's going to be the quickest and the easiest way to reset it. This will not delete any of your personal data. Now, After you have done that and you're still simply having the issue, the next thing you want to go ahead and do is go ahead and update if there's another update out. Usually with iOS 18 there's going to be bug fixes coming out. So in your settings go to general and then software update and check for update. If it says up to date, there is no update, but if there isn't, you should wait for update. Now along with updating your iPhone, another thing to consider is if you can update the firmware or update on your device that's not connecting. Sometimes if it's a CarPlay, if it's a headphones, because it's a new version of the iOS, that also has to be compatible. So for some reason, the firmware or the software on it is an older version, you're trying to use the new version of the software, that hasn't been updated, it will not connect or cause issues. So that's something you want to refer to that manufacturer's guide or simply search that up or call their, uh, look Google, Google it so you can figure that out because it can't really tell you exactly how to update that besides updating the phone. And hopefully by following these steps, you're able to go ahead and fix your Bluetooth after updating to iOS 18. And if you have another way to fix it, leave it in the comment section to share with everyone as well. And I hope you guys found this video helpful. So please consider the like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks, especially on iOS 18. We'll see you guys next time.